a disturbing glimpse into the Pedriñas prison in the state of Maranao. This video smuggled out earlier this month is horrific proof of the violence feuding prisoners are able to inflict upon each other. The images that follow are too gruesome to put on air. Prisoners shockingly mutilated, three of them beheaded with their heads placed on their stomachs for all to see. The fallout has put unprecedented pressure on Brazil's government to quickly build new, more modern and less crowded prisons like the one here just outside of Belo Horizonte. We are allowed a limited look inside what is Brazil's first PPP, or Private Public Partnership, a prison operated as a joint venture between the government and the private sector. Compared to others in Brazil, this is a five-star accommodation. Juliano Medeiros, the only prisoner we're allowed to speak to at some length, runs the storeroom that distributes fresh, clean uniforms and personal hygiene kits to inmates. They have psychologists. They have a lot of things that help the prisoners re-enter society. There is no comparison. This prison unit is one of a kind. The food looks adequate and is distributed to each cell in individual disposable containers. We were not allowed to view the cells. Only photographs were provided. But we were told that there are only four prisoners per cell, one per bed. That's a novelty in a country where some prisons house up to four times their normal capacity. We only receive prisoners here who have been sentenced. So as the law clearly states, each prisoner has to have a spot here, so there is no overcrowding. We're told the penitentiary only accepts prisoners who are willing to study and work for three quarters of the minimum wage, both of which shave time off their sentences. Policing walls, gates and disciplinary action is still the state's responsibility. While the private company running this pilot project is in charge of living conditions, education and security, which by Brazilian standards is state of the art. This bench is a metal detector. It is a scan that can detect any metal that has been introduced into the body. All of this is expensive, and some question why the private sector should be allowed to make a profit with public funds. Why does the government allow this? Because the government of Minas Gerais state is tied to the private sector, which finances its campaigns? Brazil treats prisoners as merchandise and prisons as an industry. Whatever the motive, even the critics concede the country's first private prison is setting a new standard in Brazil's penal system presumably protecting, as well as punishing, the prisoners in its care. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Minas Gerais, Brazil.